Uh, just to remind you what this one is about, full length of the lake with a fairly detailed commentary. We'll be out for an hour and a half and uh, it really is one of the best trips on the lake. But just need to raise your awareness regarding our safety equipment and the emergency procedures. Should an emergency occur, we would ask you to remain calm, follow instructions from the crew, and proceed to the nearest accessible exit. The exit is being marked and situated at the forward and end of the saloons. A very unlikely event of the vessel being abandoned, then two 65 persons self-inflating life rafts were launched. He has to proceed to the nearest point of disembarkation and step into the life rafts. And also for your safety, we'd ask you not to stand on the seats of the deck edges. So the National Trust and the crew of Gondola today, Dennis is your purser. John, manager of Gondola, is engineering and myself being on the helm. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. And we do wish you an enjoyable trip. And we'll start off by heading around the north part of the lake and then heading right the way down to Lake Bank at the south end. So as we come round this little headland called Robin Ray, uh, you see coming into view the jetty, and then we'll see the cottage itself. And this was the case for Sir Malcolm and Donald Campbell making their attempts on the World War II speed record here on the lake. Well, Sir Malcolm was based here with Bluebird K4 in the 1930s, Donald in the 1950s with Bluebird K4 and then K7, and back in the winter of 66-67. So Bluebird was actually tethered on the side of the Jeffy Week see from here. And as you glance up the slipway, there's some sheds at the top of that slipway, they are the old engineering sheds and the workshops. Now the cottage itself originally built for one of the gondola captains, Felix Hamill. And this is also where we birth gondola each night and haul her up that slipway in the winter to do all the winter maintenance. That's Pier Cottage. Rysdale Forest and it ex extends way, way down the lake and in fact over to the uh, shores of Windermere. Uh, it's a haven for wildlife. We have red deer and uh, roe deer in the forest here. Red and grey squirrel, some of the only true breeding reds left in the country. A lot of fox, badger, huge range of woodland birds. And then we get a, a lot of raptors, sparrow hawk, Kestrel, buzzard, owl, peregrine, the odd osprey sighting, even over the years we've had uh, golden eagle overflying the ridge, coming down from the nesting site, Riddingdale. Um, really nice to say that uh, kite are being re-established in Drysdale Forest after a number of years' absence. And a wonderful house coming into view on that poor site, Brantwood, was the, the home of John Ruskin. He was there from 1872 right through to his death in 1900. And he was a multi-talented poet, artist, social reformer, art critic. He was perhaps best known for championing the works of the English painter, J.M.W. Turner. If anybody wants extra information on Ruskin or Arthur Ransom, or the Campbells for that matter, then uh, Dennis has uh, put out a lot of background material within the uh, saloon.
1922 vintage. Quite an interesting little history. She uh, worked on mine sweeping duties in the D estuary during hostilities and then went on to air sea rescue. And, uh, she's been on the lake for a number of years now and shedding towards us. Uh, just the very converted fairly recently to solar power, which, uh, to be honest, in the late history, too vintage, is the most effective <laughs> way of pushing his boat around the lake. So they have to rely on a big diesel generator. Sweeping duties in the D estuary during hostilities, and then went on to air sea rescue. Cute little boat. So she's been on the lake for a number of years now. And they've converted fairly recently to solar power, which. Uh, to be honest, in the Lake District is the most <laughs> effective way of pushing your boat around the lake. So they have to rely on a big diesel generator to top the battery banks up, which is a cute little boat. So that's a Coniston launch for Ruskin. ceased in the 1920s, the slate from there is a very highly prized uh, Bill Gates of Microsoft has his home in Seattle, clad with a stone from the door. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 